Okay, after the uh, fail of this regulator that uh, they sell at Z Car Depot, contact you to Amazon. Let me have your Aero Motive part number 13129. And I like it already. Look at that. It's very compact. The gauge port actually comes with the thread sealant, so no need to apply any. This one didn't have any. I put some on. It still leaked. And that's when I said, wow, is that what I thought was a scratch? I think now is a crack in the body. I thought it was just a scratch. But even putting thread sealant on it, it's still, yeah. So, the only other question is, I think I chose correctly here. The only other question then is, uh, and it looks like I got my choice of uh, input here. Um, can I go that way? I mean, I can choose either side to go here. And it looks like these fittings are going to work, so... Uh, now, the fittings are almost bigger than the other thing here. So let me see here how I want to do this. No, you don't want to do it that way. See, you got to hook it up. Well, what you could do is do it that way. Pop that off. And then, No, we're going that way. Okay. So I'm just making sure. I mean, this thing is so much smaller... And, uh, wow, feels like quality already, just spinning in the, you could, you can feel the overing crushing on this one. I, I didn't get that, uh, feeling on that other one. And here's the, uh, the outlet. Once again, very nice. A real fuel pressure, a real adjustable fuel pressure regulator. So it looks like I can hook up to the rail then, no problemo. Um, I just need to get rid of this plate here. So anyway, I'm going to conclude this video now. I'm going to uh, mount it to the fuel rail. And then I'll start up the video again. After I'm certain, well, whether I, um, whether it leaks or not, there's going to be another video on this. Okay, so I'm going to pause our video. Oh, the other thing is, it came in a, I wouldn't call it a box, it came in a container. And here's another thing it came with. You know, not that I need any, but, you know, it's always nice to know they have it. Is it came with instructions in case you don't know anything wow 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 inlet ports yeah it just you know i don't need to read it i already know this is no good so let me uh stop the video and get ready to install this baby well that doesn't do it justice, does it? Fuel pressure regulator. Ooh, I wonder if you can make out what it says there. Aeromotive. Probably not. It's not good lighting under here. I need my light. Anyway, I was using the uh, the one provided by Z Car Depot. Total fail. Leak. 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 Hook this up. Took five minutes to hook up. And here's our vacuum reference here that comes off of uh, right next to that blue one is the black hose, which is this hose here running around here um, to the uh, vacuum port on the aeromotive. And uh, Fits on the rail nicely with a ton of room. So 
For those of you who want to install this on a ZX and you know you're not sure because rail mounted uh, you may not be able to have enough room with the firewall well this is much much smaller even though the this product description made it seem like it was much much larger it's uh, much much smaller and uh, yeah I'm feeling around nothing good pressure and uh, it looks like I'm going to have to adjust the pressure regulator because uh, it seems like it's set for about 50. So I want to get it down to 40 at least for these uh, injectors. So I'd say we got a good success here. I can finally finish putting this thing together and see if it'll run. Finally. After too many problems. Okay, this video is going to be adjusting the Aeromotive fuel pressure regulator. So we got to get some pressure. Uh, I'm using the uh, fast EFI system that I'm still setting up, but first I got to get this fuel pressure done. So I disconnected the fuel pump from the trigger for the fast EFI, and I'm going to manually. Uh, apply voltage to the fuel pressure pump and adjust it on the gauge here so uh, let's begin hopefully uh, I can do this okay so we're, we're in the on position and my fuel pressure right now is sitting sitting at about 21 that's just you know with the car off not running so uh, since I'm going to be adjusting it outside the car here let me point my gauges outside so I can see hopefully while I'm adjusting so let me get out there I don't have much room for climbing in and out unfortunately but, uh, oh well. Anyway, uh, let's see what we got here. Wow. It's a lot of glare. I'm going to close my garage door just so I can see better because I've got too much glare coming in right now. So hang on. You can see I've already got wires running to the uh, fuel. Well, I don't know if you can see it. I'll tell you, I'm running to the fuel pump. And uh, I've got a remote switch here that I can turn on and off while I'm doing this. So, here is the error mode of fuel pressure regulator. And it uses a 3 16 hex. I've already loosened the uh, nut there. The jam or lock nut, whatever nut you want to call it. Okay, uh, so... I still have a lot of glare, but I'm reading 20, like I said, or 21, whatever. All right, where's my switch? Okay, so here's my switch. I'm going to turn it on and see what kind of fuel pressure we have. Now, since the engine isn't running and I have no vacuum, the regulator is going to think we're going full throttle. So this will be the maximum pressure right now for whatever this regulator is set at so here we go whoa i'm showing 55 so let me turn it in and see if it'll go down oh turning in makes it go up so go the other way all right wow that's a lot of pressure so i'm backing it out right now and it's still pretty high I hope this thing doesn't fly out while I'm running this. So I'm all, I'm at 45 right now. They say you can adjust this to 30. Okay, almost at 40. One, two, don't pop out. I don't know how far you can turn this thing. Okay, so I'm close to 40 now. Okay, so I'm going to take off the camera off of my head here and show you while it's running. Hopefully that's showing up. Let me I have to adjust this camera some more. Let me just a second. 
All right, there we are. Uh, hopefully you can see that we're showing about 40, which is my target. Not 43, but 40. Now, should it be at 43? I don't know. But uh, we're done with that adjustment. I'm turning, up, turning it off. Okay, wow. As soon as I shut it off, the uh, fuel pressure immediately dropped and is drifting down towards 20 again, I guess. Okay, so. All right, that's the first part of my test. All right, since I have it where I want it now, which I think is 40, and I'll tighten the uh, nut a little bit. And don't ask me which way I was turning it. I, while I was turning it, it seemed to me that I was turning it counterclockwise, which mean, meant I felt like it was about to pop out. And I don't know how much more adjustment. They say you can go down to 30 with this. All right, so let's assume that 40 is our ideal number. Wow, this, this regulator doesn't... Well, I've read that about these regulators that for some reason, and I'll have to investigate later, these things don't hold pressure. 